this I had to show you as well because it was just the thing that I showed you in another video. I've got a layer of tissue paper on the back, then I've laid down collage, and then a layer of tissue on the top. But what was really nice about this one is that the blue tissue paper that's laid down, there's black and blue tissue paper in here, but the blue tissue paper has released its colour. So it releases its colour and it goes blurry on the edges and seeps into the other papers, which I really enjoy. The black didn't do it. So again, it's just a question of getting to know your papers. And this is another one, again, where I utilised the way that the blue seeps into the colour. There was blue painted on the background, and then I stuck these papers on. The blue, the red first, and then the blue on top, and then some strips of white even on top of that, and it sort of takes it back down again. But I don't know if you can see, some of that is just really lovely. And the other thing is, with something like this, it doesn't have to be abstract, does it? The possibilities of this process are huge. And if you think about it in terms of utilising the mediums to the best advantage, it's up to you to turn it into something that you can use and that suits your style and suits the way you work. I've always been interested in this sort of mixes of mediums and utilising the attributes of something to its best advantage. And I've obviously had a lot of experience in sticking things to each other and I've done a good deal of felt work. And there's a felt work which I thought would transpose into a tissue paper design really beautifully. There's threads in it, you could paint tissue papers and stick on the petals, cut them all out first and just put them on, make up the flowers. This process uh, lends itself to so many things and again it removes itself from the hierarchy of painting which I think is really interesting and I think also as well it's a problem we have in Britain is that the textiles and crafts are not really valued, they're just coming into their own a bit more whereas in America textiles and embroidery and quilting has always had a place.